Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. Mataji is coming soon. And then we can start the call. Hare Krishna, Deepak. Hare Krishna, Mataji. It's Deepak. Do you want to share the sloka uh, rhyme of this week? Uh, Shama. Since Mataji come. Vayo Vishu Kaunteya, Murtaya Samba Bantiya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Kotaya Samma Bantiya. Sasam Brahma Mahadiyoni. Sasam Brahma Mahadiyoni. Sasam Bida Prada Pitaha. Kotaya Samma Bantiya. Sasam Brahma Mahadiyoni. Aham Bija Prada Pitaha. Do you know the rhyme? Yes, Mataji. Mataji can run with the rhyme. Mother Sachi. Oh, wait. Mother Sachi. You can also sing Balavrinda. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. He went to play with his friends. Only my friends. Only my friends. Where is the man? Oh, we don't know. Oh, we don't know. He went to play with his friends. Ganga mata, Ganga mata, where is me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We went. They didn't. Oh, 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 he went to Sankitan. Now Sankitan party. Sankitan party. Where is me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, no, no. Here he is. Here he is. Chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Mataji, Hare Hare. 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 I posted it into the group. No, we didn't. Did we fall? Very nice people. All right, Hare Krishna kids. <clears throat> All right, kids. Welcome to today's Dhamma class and let's just get started. And you know how we start our classes every single time. It is with Sri Guru Pranam Mantra. It's on your screen as well, followed by uh, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra 11 times. So let's start with Sri Guru Pranam Mantra. <clears throat> and we'll do that together.
we can start kids i cannot hear anyone om agyana the mirandasya gyanan jana shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena tasmay shri guru vena नमस्ते all right kids that was awesome well done so with that let's get started with the story and you know the drill but i'll still remind you so we're going to read this story now and at the end of the story we're going to share realizations with each other right so what we learn from the story is there something we should remember from this story and all that kind of stuff so with that let us get started with the story and today is story about greed brings misery so if somebody is greedy then what happens it can only bring unhappiness you are never happy if you're greedy and that is the story about today so let's get started so once upon a time there was a golden swan so do you see the golden swan swimming in the um, in the little pond and this swan was very very special because he remembered everything from his previous life so he did have good karmas and due to those good karmas he could remember everything from his previous life so he came to because he remembered everything from his previous life so he came to a pond near his village so where he used to live in his uh, his previous life he came to that pond um, i mean he came to the to a pond which is near his village so that he can see his family he can see others right uh, because he remembers everything so one day a lady who happened to be his wife in his last birth came to the pond to fetch water and she was really surprised to see the swan um the, the golden swan and she was also surprised when the swan started speaking to her so she was surprised that oh how can a swan speak right can can talk to me um so the swan started talking to her like this that 
okay, I was your husband in the previous life. And because of my karmas, I've been reincarnated as a golden swan now in this birth. And just because I remember everything from my previous life, and I know that you had been living the life of a poverty or a life of a poor. So I'm here <clears throat> to help you with that. Um, and my child as well, because he's really worried about everybody. Uh, in fact, both of them. So he said that every day I can give you a golden feather from my body. So one feather I can give you every day from my body, which is a golden feather. And you can sell that feather and um, that will help you with your you know, daily needs of food or shelter or anything else. So that is something I want to do for you so that you have a better life. And your kid also has a better life. So she was very, very happy. And, um, and she realized that with that, um, that one feather a day will actually change her life. So they would no, no longer be poor. They can live a normal life like anybody else. Okay, so times, um, time was passing by and slowly she started getting one feather every single day, started selling it and started getting whatever she needed from the feather. But of course the golden feather, so it's a lot of money, right? Every single day. It is more than she actually needed in a day uh, for her food or shelter or anything of that sort. So, well, with that kind of money, she became very rich. She had a big house. She has a lot of servants working for her and she started enjoying, she and her kids started enjoying the life. I mean, they started getting everything they wanted and uh, a big house and a lot of servants and people working for them, all that um, good things started happening to her. So when she was poor, when she was poor, she couldn't think of how to become rich, right? But when she started becoming rich now, she started getting more and more money because of the feather. She started getting a little bit greedy and she started thinking that what will happen if the swan disappears one day? Now he is giving me one feather a day, but what will happen when he disappears one day? He just, you know, he decides to just go away from here and then I'm not going to get more feathers from him and I wouldn't be able to get more money in that case. So what should I do in that case? So she started thinking like that and she decided that she should ask the swan to stay with her in her house so that she can keep an eye on him and um, for the rest of her life, she can keep getting the feather every single day. So with that thought in her mind, she reached out to the swan in that, in that pond and she said, oh my dear husband, why don't you come and stay with us? <laughs> now we can serve you. You had been doing so much for us by giving us feather every single day. Now, now come home and I would like to serve you. Wow. Uh, okay, so swan, agreed to that because he did not know her intention. So he agreed and he came to her home. She did make good arrangements in the backyard for the swan to stay, made all her arrangement, food and water or anything that the swan would need. Um, and the intention was to keep an eye on the swan. So the swan still stays with her and do not try to run away from there. Okay, so now she has the swan in her house. Now she gets one feather every single day and she's sure to get it every single day now because he's there he's not going to go anywhere but her greed is not ending there she started thinking she became more greedy and she started thinking that oh so when i pluck when i pluck one feather a day out of his body another feather grows so that would mean that if i start i start plucking more than one feather it will grow so if I pluck all the feathers in one day, everything's gonna grow back. So this way I can be very, very rich. So every day I can have multiple feathers, um, multiple golden feathers. So she became so greedy. And then she reached out to her husband who was a swan and said that, oh, my husband, I was thinking that I should pluck all the feathers uh, from your body so that I don't hurt you every single day, right? So she's plucking one by one every single day. Well, it's not, Hmm. It's a little painful, right? If anybody, if somebody, you know, plucks her hair or anything, it's a little painful. So it's a similar thing. And she's like, oh, I don't want to hurt you every single day. So how about I just pluck all the feathers in one go? And so that it's less painful for you too. But the swan at the same time is trying to explain her that this is not how it works. I can only give you one feather a day, but she, in her greed, she's just in her own thoughts. She's just not listening to him. And she started plucking all her, all his uh, feathers. 
and she removed all the feathers from his body. The moment she removed all the feathers from the body, they were no longer golden feathers. They all turned the regular feather color um, as we see on the swans. So everything turned into, you know, um, non-golden color or whatever regular color it is. And she's so surprised looking at those feathers. And the swan is telling her that this is exactly what I was trying to tell you that I can only give you one feather in a day. You cannot take all of it out in one day. I was telling you this and you just did not listen to me. So just because she was, she was so greedy, she's not even realizing that the, this, uh, the swan who was her husband in past life also trying to help her in this life and she just started misbehaving with him as well, asking him to, you know, leave the house and never show uh, his face to her ever again um, because her interest was, was done. And I mean, she was, well, so she got what she wanted from him in first place. And second thing is she wanted to get all the feathers, all the golden feathers in one go and get a lot of money out of it, which did not happen. So out of her frustration, she's, she's just asking him to go. She's so selfish. Okay, finally, the swan returned to the lake. And then whatever, she, whatever wealth she had accumulated by selling that golden feather every single day, slowly, you know, everything started vanishing, vanishing in the sense she, she started spending all of it, right? Because now she's not getting any more feathers, but she still has to live. So she still has to eat. She still has to feed her kid. And, uh, you know, she still needs the house or the shelter or whatever daily thing she still needs. So she started spending the money she had accumulated over time. And eventually all the money was gone. And then she became poor again. So with that, kids, we end our story here. And let us see. Anybody wants to share anything? What you Mata, want to share? Ka, hey, This is Shubhadra. Can I say first? Hare Krishna Mata ji. Okay. Brinda se. Vrinda. Okay. So let us start with Mayu. Mayu, Mata, Shubhadra, <laughs> and then Vrinda. Let's start with you, kids. You should be not greedy. If something gives you something to be there, you should not be you should be generous, right? You should be generous enough to thank the person who's helping you. That is right. Then being you just think every day in one time. Hmm. No, that is right. Yep. You shouldn't be greedy. Right? Can I go, um, Can I go, Mataji? You all are speaking at the same time. So let's just wait. Let's go with Shubhadra and then uh, Vrinda and then we'll go to other kids, okay? Meanwhile, if you want to raise your hands in the chat box, you can do that. Mataji. All right, uh, Shubhadra. Yes. The more, the, more have, the more we want. Shubhadra, go ahead. The more we have, the more we want. <laughs> yes, that is very right. And that's a beautiful message to um, Shubhadra. You should be content Mataji, in your life. Talk? About to say that never be greedy. Mataji, mm -hmm. can Balavinda say something? No, that is right. That's a very valid point. All right, uh, I'll come to you, Balavinda. Brenda, go ahead. We should. Yes, Brenda. Like if we get something like one. And we like that thing. That means we we want um we want the whole thing. Right? Hmm. Right. Yeah. Oh, good point, Brinda. Well done. All right. So let's go to Balrinda. Okay. I wanted to say that because we have something that um we uh are um like. Like, yeah, I'll never mind, Balrinda. I'll come back to you. Think about it meanwhile, okay? okay. All right, can we go to uh, Garima now? So, like, don't be greedy, and whatever Krishna gives you, you should be happy, you should not be greedy.
Can you all hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, Garima. Yeah, so I heard you. You shouldn't be greedy. That's what you said. Anything else did you say? And whatever Krishna gives you, you should be happy. Oh, very nice. Absolutely. That's the point. Very well done. All right. Um, Palwit? Krishna, what? He should be happy. He should be happy. What's and he? what Krishna gives us? Yeah. And? Thank you. Thank you. Can I go, Mataji? No. Can Balavinda go, Mataji, of the journey? Of the journey? Palvit, you want to repeat one more time? I don't know. Somehow, I think my internet was bad or something. I didn't hear you. Mataji, I just came. Hmm. Mataji, what are we supposed to do? Because I just came. <laughs> we should be happy. What Krishna gives us. What Krishna gives us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We should be happy with what Krishna gives us. Beautiful point. Keshavi, no worries, Keshavi. You Malibinda. can join us for the rest of the things. Malibinda. Malibinda, go ahead. Um, um, we should not, um, like, like, we should not be, like, we should not be thinking something which... She wants to say something, but she don't know what to say. About <laughs> I, I, I know, I can see that. Brenda, we can come back to you again. You can still think about it. <laughs> no rush, okay? No rush, I'll come back to you. All right, um, so Deepak? Uh, Mataji, can I go? Don't, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. If you're poor and get rich, the more you greedy you are, the more poor you get. So when you think the last time, you're trying to get a trick. But if you get good karma, you can do that. Everything will be like easy and uh, uh, good. You can feed your baby until um, uh, your baby is big enough to cook, buy things. Then you can send the uh, uh, Swan away, and he can rest, and all those things will happen. She was too greedy. Right. She just then why does um the swan's feathers hang? Yeah, oh, that's right. So um then um immediately when she put it on it onto the ground um chemical um how did it get uh the normal swan color? Yep, that's right. No, good points. Good points. We'll sum it, uh, sum it, uh, sum it up in the end. Okay. So good point. Um, Jan, we go ahead. Uh, don't be greedy and be happy whatever Krishna gives you. That's very good point. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, Madhav. Yes, Madhav. See, Krishna has given us. Krishna has given us. More than. More than we deserve. We deserve. So we should be satisfied. We should be satisfied with what we have. What we have. Yeah. See, thank you, Madhav. Thank you, Madhav. Oh, See you very later. Sweet. Very sweet. Good point, Madhav. All right, Jagdish, you want to go now? Okay, Balavinda, go ahead. We should not treat the swan so Krishna will give us Krishna will not give us anything. Yeah. We should not cheat anyone. We should not cheat anyone. Shouldn't cheat? We I should not. 
I said we should not cheat. You, you're breaking, Rinda. You should not do what? Cheat. Mother, can you hear us? She's saying we should not cheat. Should not steal, should not cheat. Cheat, cheat, yes. Okay, no, oh, yeah, good point. Absolutely. Well done, Linda. All right, Garima. Garima, you want to go now? Okay, we'll come to you. Hridhan? Um, we should not be greedy and we should be happy all the time and and we should not cheat. Um Pradhan, you want to repeat one more time? I just couldn't hear. Okay. So, so, so we should not cheat. We should be happy all the time, and and we and we should be happy for Krishna. Also. Absolutely. Very valid points. Good job, Pradhan. Um. All right. So, uh, Raghav, yes. So we should not cheat and don't. Um, don't do what the others tell us not to do. Hmm, yeah, no, that's right. Well done. All right, Kavish. Kavish. Anyone else wants to share anything at this point before we move on? Kavish, you're back. You want to say something? Yeah, are you on mute? So I can hear you. I cannot hear you, Kavish. Hare Krishna Mataji, it's Deepak. Um, Kavish is um, muted, um, but he's just not talking. Let's see. Kavish is not muted. Kavish is okay. Kavish, you want to speak now? Um, you're not muted right now. Oh, now you're muted, I guess. Unmute. Let me unmute you. Okay, yeah, you can speak now, Kavish. <clears throat> We cannot hear you. Mataji, how about you unmute everyone and then mute everyone? Okay, everybody's unmuted. Kavish. Um... Kavish, you are not muted. You want to try now, Kavish, one more time? He's not unmuted. He's not. Not I'm just going to mute all and I'm just going to unmute Kavish for a second. Let's see if it works. And here it is. Oh, never mind. Um, Kavish, if you're able to speak up later, you, you can still discuss. But okay, let's. Hare Krishna Mataji, it's Deepak and my sister. Go. Okay, yes, quickly, yes. So, my brother is telling what, how can the, the color, the golden color, can change to the normal color? Yeah, it can. 
because he was only supposed to give one feather in a day. But so when you know, he tried giving more, that's where everything. Uh, and now I understand why he turned the other color because God just turned it gray. Yeah, right. It's all God's blessings, right? Can, can you hear me now, Mataji? Yes, I can hear you finally. Yes, go ahead, okay. Cody. Yes, my son is not the way my question for the king. Hi, Krishna Mataji, stay back with my sister, can she go? Your sister just talked about the feather, right? Was there anything else you wanted to share? She, he, he any yeah, things that he, we have. Um, she's just trying to answer my question. She didn't share anything yet. All right, we'll have to go a little faster, kids, because we have other things to cover. So yeah, go ahead, quickly. We oh. should join the things we have. I cannot hear you. Kavish, yeah, go ahead, Kavish, quickly. We should enjoy, we should enjoy the things that we have. Yeah, absolutely. You should be content. So yeah, I mean, that's the bottom line for today. A um, couple of things which we learned today is whatever Krishna gives us, we should be contented with that. He knows what we want and what we should have, and we should be contented with that, right? And it also talked about the karmas, right? So based on your karmas, you get your next birth. So definitely karmas are extremely important. And all you kids have beautifully covered every single point. I'm so, so proud of you. With that, kids, we move on to the shloka time. And I'm going to request Anjana Gopika Mataji to take up uh, the shloka from here. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. This is Shubhadra. Hare Krishna, Subhadra. Hare Krishna, everyone. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Now we'll do the sloka. You all can repeat out for me, okay? This is Brahma Samhita 536. Yad Bhava Bhavita Diyo Yad Bhava Bhava Dana Manu Jara Manu Jasta Thaiva Manu Jasta Thaiva Samprapya Rupa Mahimasana Samprapya Rupa Mahimasana Ayabhani Yana Bhusaha Yana Bhusaha Ruktairyam Eva Nigama Ruktairyam Eva Nigama Ruktairyam Prati thais tu banti. Govinda madhi purusam tamaham. Yad bhava bhavita diyo. Yad bhava bhavita diyo. Manu Jasta Thaiva Manu Jasta Thaiva Samprabhya Rupa Mahima Samprabhya Rupa Mahima Sanayana Bhusaha Mahima Sanayana Bhusaha Suktaryam Eva Nigama Pratihit 
गोविंदमादिपुरुषम तमहम भजामि थैंक यू सो मच किड्स नाउ वी कैन गो टू द माता जी टीस यू देवनागरी in this words you can practice at home okay we will not have time to repeat uh, because mata ji have to finish devnagari also you can practice this shloka 536 and the sunday sunday we have a presentation that time you can share okay hari bol thank you mata ji all right kids let's learn devnagari All right, let's get started with what we have learned so far with these um, vowel and vowels and consonant combination. Um, who wants to go with K? Anyone? Want to go? Mali, can I 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 go? Mali, can फलवि ग Very nice, Pavit. All right, um, Garima, you want to do ga? Ball go. Ga ga ge ge. Go go kru ge. Gai go ga ga. Gam ga. Very nice, Palavan Dacha. No matter what. Palavan Dacha. Dacha cha cha. Chi chi. Cho cho. ंदो Brenda, go ahead. Which show? Brenda, you there? Ah, Shubhendra Giri Dari, you want to go with show? Yes, Mata Ji. Go ahead. Cha cha chi 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 cha cha chi chi chu 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 che chai cho chao cham cha ha. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. All right, kids. So with that, you know we were learning the letter ch, and we learned um. So in ch, we learned ch, cha, chi, 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 and chu. Yes. Somebody saying something. Somebody saying something. Say that again. Kavish, can you see the shloka in the book? Kavish. Can you see the shloka in the book? Shloka in the book. Can you see the shloka in? Can I'm see sorry, it? you're breaking. Um, or maybe it's my internet. You're saying, are you saying, no, saying the shloka is in the book or not? Yeah. Can you what, see what, it? What book? You know the Krishna book, like yeah. Revision. So Anjana Gopika Mataji always posts the shloka which we are learning in the class, right? Every time, um, in the WhatsApp. So you definitely can look it up there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
So yeah, check check in WhatsApp. She will post the shloka there. All right, kids. So for today we have a cha letter with five matras, and we're gonna do chu, chu, tra, che, and che. So these are the five letters for today. And first, let's start with first one. It's yet. I'm gonna mute you all, okay, so that I can finish it. All right. So the first one is cha with u matra is chu, and in English you can write that as c h h u. Okay, and um, the let uh, the word you can write with that is chupna. Chupna is nothing but hiding. So you all would have played hide and seek, right? So hiding is called chupna. All right, that's your first one. The second one is cha with big u matra is chu, and um, you you can write that um, in English as c h h o o. A slightly different, uh, you know, a slight difference between these two. Um, in um, the word you can make with Chu is chuna. That means touching something, right? You touch something. That's called chuna. Uh, the third one is cha with ri matra is tri, and in, in English you can write that as c h h r u. Oh well, I don't have a word for that, but if you can think of anything, let me know. Uh, next one is cha with small a matra um, is che. In English you can write that as c h h e. Uh, che is um, and, and and the word you can make with that is chet. And I know last time I think we have um, also there's another word uh, for these holes. Chet is nothing but holes, and you can also write as chidra. This is what we learned last time, right? But chidra or chet anything for uh, for the holes. Uh, the last the one for today is the last one for today is ch with big a matra is che. Um, in English, you can write that as C H H A I, um, and one of the word that you can make with that is chena. Well, chena is, um, you know, your moms must be making at home um, um, with with curdled milk. You you curdle the milk and then you get the chena out of it, and then you make the rasgulla or rasmalai or whatnot, right? Paneer, you know, cottage cheese, all that you can make with um, that. So chena is that that. And popcorn. Popcorn with chena. I have to learn that. <laughs> I don't know how you can make popcorn with chena, but chena is that you know when you curdle the milk and you get that um, you can make rasgullas or you can make um, you know rasmalai or all those kind of stuff with this. So that's your chena. All all you know, yeah, all milk based sweets. All right. So these are the four uh, five uh, letters for today. I'm gonna quickly write that on whiteboard and. Um, and you all also can start writing it. Hey Krishna, Mata Ji, can yeah. I see the board? Yeah, whiteboard. I'm going to the whiteboard right now. Okay, so whiteboard letters are um, choo choo. Okay, let's start. So first letter is, you know, you have to write cha five times, right? And then we start making matra. So first cha is, um, just want to make sure that I write it the way they write. Okay. So cha is like this. Two twisted these things and you do like this. This is your cha, right? Uh, first cha and first one is cha with u matra is chu. So this u matra comes in the bottom like this, twisted like that, right? The second one is again. Um, this is your cha and cha with u matra. So big u matra goes like this. The third one is cha, cha and ri matra. So again, write your cha here. It's ugly, but okay. This is how you write. Cha with ri matra. So this is your ri. It's pretty much like a C shape in the bottom. Uh, next one is cha and a matra is che. So here, starting with um, this horizontal line and this shape again, cha with a matra is your che. So we make it like that. And the last one is che. Cha with big a matra. So double, double matras on the top. So again, you write your letter cha. Okay, this is your letter ch, and then on the top of it, if you make just two matras like that or like this, that is your che. So chu, chu, tri, che, and che. So these are your five letters for today. Hey, Krishna Mataji, can you can you go to the page slide? That's your slide. And I'm ready for anyone who wants to share. Hi, Krishna Mataji, it's Deepak. Can you go back to the whiteboard? Okay. One sec. 
right? Oh, look at you. So you're already done. Yeah, Let's because see. when you were Mataji, dead, Ka Kavish is showing. Mataji was done. He was already writing it? Okay. So Kavish Mataji is done. Was... Uh, Hare Krishna Mataji. Um, yeah, so let's start with, I, I am watching everybody. So, Balavranda, where are you? Uh, can, oh, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, Hare that. Krishna Mataji, can you, can you write uh, down all of, all of the names of them? Uh, what names? About, uh, in this, in this, can you write the names? I, I don't, I don't, I forgot the, these names. Yeah, sure. So um, you can actually look at the um, you can look at the slides. Can you see the slide? Yes. Yeah. So you're talking about these names in these names, right? No, 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 not that. In in the English, I was I need to write. If I forgot, then I can so I can watch over here. These? Are you talking about these? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's everything's here in the slide. You can you can definitely write it from here. Okay. Yep. Yes. Can, can I show? Um, so I'm here and let's start with Vrinda because Vrinda said she All right, Krishna Mataji, can you go to the whiteboard? Yeah, just let's give one minute to other kids to finish the slide. Uh, Mataji, let's give can them one. Vrinda show? Uh, you, Bala Vrinda, you want to show, right? I'm, I'm here. Where, is, where are you? Mataji, Bala Vrinda already showed you, Mataji. Yeah, I didn't see Mataji. By the time I came here, I think she was gone already. Oh, okay, okay. Balavanda, she wants, she wants to see. Come on, show. Mm -hmm. I already showed you, Mataji. Oh, I did not see, but... Okay. okay. Here we go. Oh, that's very nice. Good job, Balavanda. Wonderful. Hare Krishna, Mataji. This is Shubhadra. Hare Krishna, Mataji. I'll come to everybody. Um, so, Shubhadra and Giridhari, I can see you. Mataji, this is Shubhadra. Shubhadra, very nice. Good job. This is Vaishnavi. Okay, Vaishnavi. Thank you, Vaishnavi. Okay, I wait. Yeah, I can see. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Very nice. Very beautiful. Hey, Lovely letters. Mother, Good job, Vaishnavi. <clears throat> yes, Vrinda. See? Ha. Huh. Very lovely. I'm beautiful. I mean, you've written every single thing from the slide. Lovely. Good job. All right. Um, I'm going to go back to other kids now. Um, Deepak, you wanted to show. Deepak, go ahead. Are you still writing, Deepak? It's okay if you're still writing. Yeah, um, Deepak, if you're not sure. Okay, I'll go to Isha. Isha, yes. Hmm. One sec. Let me check. Okay. Um. Why do we see six letters here, Isha? Do you have something duplicated? Mataji, after finishing, you can end the call. Okay, Mataji. Oh yeah, it's time. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Good. 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 Kids, kids, we actually will have to wrap up right here because uh, Madhav, I can see yours as well. Very nice. But if I haven't seen anybody's, please post it in the WhatsApp group. We are already late for the next class. So I really have to wrap up right now. But kids, thank you for joining today's class. And let's wrap up our today's class with Vaishnav Pranam. Hare Krishna, see you next class, kids. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. 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 H